Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and it is Friday, December 27th, 27th, two days after Christmas. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. We had a really good one on this end. Uh, we had all the family over and a really good time. And uh, and so, and this is our, uh, our last live stream of the year. Crazy. It's going to be a whole new decade on our next live stream. Whole it's going to be the decade. Roaring Twenties. Yep. <laughs> The Roaring Twenties, can't believe that 1990 was 30 years ago. And I'm turning 30. I know. Yay. Wow. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy. That's some wild, wild, wild stuff. stuff. <laughs> wild stuff. Uh, and some of you may have just caught me, uh, uh, you guys on YouTube, you may have just caught us accidentally doing our Patreon stream. Uh, sorry, you can't watch that unless you're a <laughs> Patreon member. So if you want to get more of that kind of stuff, head on over to Patreon. And, uh, and sign up because uh, we've been doing some cool stuff over there. Uh, today I was talking about animation and exaggeration with physics and all that kind of stuff. It was cool. And uh, what am I going to do today? Uh, what do you want to do? Viewer's choice? You want to do or request day? Viewer, request viewer's day? Choi choice? Or that Which? or Baby Yoda holding fireworks for the Happy New Year? Finish out the year. Oh, uh, oh a New Year's themed uh Image. New Year's themed image. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. We'll maybe see. like um maybe Well let's of, let's leave it open to the to the to the public. See maybe a bear from the nineteen twenties holding a holding a glass out like Gatsby. To the nineteen to the two thousand twenties. To two thousand his little space suit. Yeah. Which isn't really our, our, our well, I was favorite. thinking like nineteen twenties themed like suit suit and tie and everything, but it's a bear. Oh yeah. As usual, uh, we got Dustin here, and he's going to be manning some questions from Facebook, and we're going to have Nick on the other end once he gets Rivers down. Was Rivers Rivers? His son was hanging out with him. Uh, he's going to be handling stuff on the other platforms. Um, remember, we've got uh, we've got we had a whole bunch of sales going on all through December, uh, and we still have sales going on. So we had the twelve days of Christmas, which was awesome, and then we've decided to extend our Boxing Day. That's a traditional British, and I think Canadian too, uh, holiday after, um, it's basically when you bring everything back, I think, uh, that you don't want. <laughs> but uh, we have our Boxing Day sale going on, and that's 25% off of everything on the site. Uh, we've decided to extend that. So if you're interested, head on over to CreatureArtTeacher.com, and there's still great sales going on. Help us, uh, help us finish out the, the year big. Big. Yeah, I'd like to time. finish... Finish up the year big. Uh, we got a few suggestions. We got a uh, saber tooth samurai. Come on, let's do uh, something New Year's. New themed. Year moose. A New Year's moose. Um, a Asiatic lion. I think I did. I, Asiatic, I did. yeah. Uh, a dapper moose. Um, uh, All right. Request a fun cartoon self-portrait of Aaron Blaze, Dustin, and Nick. No. Celebrating New Year's. <laughs> no. Too, no. I like the dapper moose. Uh, how about a moose? Because we get the moose all the time. We get the moose. And I don't uh, think we've done a moose yet. And we haven't. So why not finish with a moose? Yeah, I just got to do something really quick. First thing I want to do is I want to show you I've got... Oh, the other thing, too, I want to tell you guys... Um, let me pull up my photos. Uh, there's a serval. serval. But um, uh, I wanted to tell you guys that uh, there's our wolves. We're doing a. Uh, we put reference. together a big packet full of reference photos of African big cats. Uh, it's been really popular. Go over and check it out at creatureartteacher.com. Oh, actually, I got to quit out of this. Uh, this isn't the wrong album. Um, <laughs> And um, it's really cool. It's over a hundred photos of uh, shoot. Did I, where did I open those? Where's my moose photos? Your what, moose. My moose. Where's my moose. the moose? It's over a hundred photos of uh, lions like this. Uh, I kind of dug deep into my um, into my stash. And, uh, all right, where's my, 
I'm looking for a moose is what I'm doing. Do you have moose photos? I, oh, yeah. I've got moose photos. I've got moose photos, eh? This is where I used to live uh, when I lived on the beach. I used to go out on my back porch and photograph these guys surfing because I love those waves. You guys to get some nice, you know, overhead breaks. Look at that. Nice breaks. Why not just search uh, moose on oh, the search bar? Thank you, idiot. Because that's what you always, that's what you, that's what I always brag about. Like, I know. Uh, all I have to do is just look up line and boom, they're all Boom, line. look at that. There's my Check moose. this out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, check this out. Check this out. <laughs> it's really cool. It's amazing. Check this out. Check this out. So here's Here all my mooses, eh? Here's your moose, eh? I got a lot of mooses. All you need now is some some friends that are bears, eh? Yeah. Oh, what happened to uh, Nick? Did I lose Nick? What, I think the deep I, thoughts? Yeah, I think I dumped deep thoughts. Uh, what the hell? Hey, how's it going, eh? That's a, this that, this guy this bear. guy was awesome. Uh, I think I might. I just need a little bit of a reference. Le reference. Let's do this because we're gonna do a dapper moose. And <laughs> Dave Plain said, "I hope Aaron doesn't show the photos I sent him." <laughs> Are there any photos we should be? I don't know. Out? What did he send me? Dave Clayton. Oh, behave, Dave. I actually did a painting of this one. Put him in a storm. I'll be putting together some uh, North American wildlife photos as well. Uh, there they are. Oh, you know what I love about this one? Look at this photo. <laughs> tongue out? No, not just his tongue. Look at on his butt. There's a little starling on his butt. Oh. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a bite. Yeah, a little starling. And some of these are videos. He was a, he was a young moose. Man, it was cold that day. I was out there photographing. Was this the trip before you and I, you and I went? Yeah, this is when uh, uh, my father, your grandfather, and I went. Oh okay. Yep, I was out. Th I was actually out there photographing and drawing in this. How long ago was this? Uh, this is five years ago. Oh, oh there he is. See, see the little starling on his butt. Oh yeah. <laughs> right there. He's oh, all that'd be a great. That would be a great shot. I right know. There. He's all hunkered down into his fur. So anyway, um, so there is our. Uh, yeah, here, he's trying to check to see if uh, the lady's ready to go. That's him. Doing the Fleming response. Okay, so there's that. Um, so now I'm going to go and I lost Nick. There he is, right there. Uh, Sean on YouTube says my sister was once bit by a moose. <laughs> Last year you did a New Year's baby. What about the old man this year? Oh no, we're going to do moose. Let's do a, a, a an incoming moose, but we're going to do a New Year's moose, I guess. Yeah, let's just make a New Year's moose. As far as the uh, biting by a moose goes, as, at least it was just a bite and not getting stomped on. Yeah. <laughs> moose are responsible for a lot of injuries and, and sometimes death. I mean, they're giant walking tanks. They are. and uh, They're a lot the, bigger than people They're about people the size realize. of a Clydesdale. They're giant. And... Um, they tend to, uh, in Alaska and Canada, they tend to get people hit them with their car, unfortunately. And since moose are so big, the car takes the legs out and the whole body just goes right into the windshield. So, not good. But uh, I'm going to take this image and I'm going to rotate it. Now, uh, what degrees. camera do you guys use? Well, you use a, a 7D Canon you use a Mark 7D. One Seven D Canon. Yeah. Uh, I personally use a Sony uh, A6400, and I'm just waiting for the A7 Mark IV to be announced. That's my next camera. All right, so I'm. 
gonna do this oh and also you guys might be glad to see that I have actually gone since the last time I saw you I've gone in and actually organized my brushes somewhat oh I've still got God. a little bit to do but I got my textured brushes hair brushes one and two dry brushes water brushes foliage brushes and water and snow impossible impossible okay so let's uh, let's start drawing because I'm running my mouth too much so <laughs> let's, let's talk more draw. someone said a dapper moose a dapper moose. Hmm. Let's see here. Sorry, I missed the beginning, but thanks. Uh, thanks for pointing out you weren't just live streaming for Patreon. <laughs> I get a nice big schnoz in here. Schnoz. You know what I might have to do? Cause what? Because of his antlers, I have to turn it back to being horizontal again. All right. 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 Because otherwise the uh, frame is going to clip off the uh, antlers. Yeah. Well, that's about how big they'll be. What level of Patreon do you uh, do you have to be to have access to the streams? To uh, the ten the ten dollar tier. Ten dollar tier. Yeah, it's not bad. It's ten bucks a month, and you get extra streams. And I do little lessons, and you know, it's it's kind of cool. If you're interested, go to Creature Art. Uh, 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 Patreon. <laughs> Patreon dot com slash Aaron Blaze Art. So regarding Christmas, do you have any special traditions? Uh, yeah, we do something a little different than everyone else where we give presents. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I completely blanked out there for... I, I said we do something a little bit different than other people where we give presents. Uh, we give uh, we give each other uh, one present uh, before uh, Christmas. Uh, I was kidding. What is that? But no, everyone does that. A lot of people do that. That's not super special. But there was something that uh, Austin, uh, my my sister and I used to do, that was pretty much tradition when we were kids. Was we would wake up at, this was every year. We would wake up at three in the morning, run down down the stairs, and knock on mom and dad's door, yelling, "It's Christmas! It's Christmas!" And every time you guys would say, "Wake us up at six thirty." Or seven o'clock, and we would, and right after we would go to our stockings, grab our stockings, and we were able, and we were able to open the presents in the stockings, and so we opened those up and we eat our candy and watch either Christmas Vacation or Christmas Story. Yeah. And until seven, knock on the door, wake you guys up. You guys will come out. We open up all the presents. That's right. And we did that for a good I don't know, like 12, 12 to fifteen years, maybe longer. <laughs> you weren't you weren't you weren't fifteen doing that, no. No. No, you. Weren't. I could have sworn I did that. No. When by the did time we stop by the time you were fifteen, uh, when well, did we stop? before that. What do you think, 12? When I was 12? Probably around 12, yeah. Because uh, I thought we did it when, when we were in California. You did? So I was 13 then. Oh, okay. 
It was a long time. Let's just say that. Little noisemaker. Did you know this is Dustin's day off? Yep. But I Dustin decided to come in for the live stream. I volunteered. You did. Nick says he should have a party favor in his mouth or a martini. I agree. And that's what I'm doing here. I want to make him a little more festive looking. How different is a moose's anatomy from deer and other antelope species? Well, uh, antelope and deer are, d are different species, but uh, moose is the largest deer in North America. And actually, uh, probably Europe as well. It's not bad. Uh, Tubius on YouTube asks, is this moose going to have a moustache? <laughs> moustache. A uh, YouTube comment, on the African Cats Pack, there's a picture showing what Pumbaa would have looked like if Nala was able to catch him. <laughs> there is. Yeah. A little bit of realistic nature footage there, folks, for those of you that are wondering. So there's that. Let me uh, image rotate horizontal. Uh, that's okay. Let's, let's make them a little more party centric. Let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, suggesting there there could be Christmas lights in his antlers. That's a great idea. Uh, Jason Spite said, I got the book you suggested. Which book would that be? I don't know. Which book would that be? Good question. Uh, what about a tiny top hat? Yep, I like it. Might turn his head a little bit. <laughs> you should have things in his antlers, uh, like Christmas lights, party poppers, a bit like uh, Thick Wick from Dr. Seuss. So I'm scribbling, scribbling right now to see. Can you draw for him a monocle? Pitter patter, sir. Pitter patter. And a uh, Happy New Year. Nick says, we have a tradition of banging pots and pans at midnight on New Year's, which we got from Selena and Vedanta's mom. <laughs> yes, I was there one time when you did that, when we did that. Let's pray by bing, bing. Like that. I want that to be the, the little thing that... <laughs> noise maker. Doesn't do Santa impression. What? <laughs> <laughs> There's no real, like, Santa impression. Unless I do, like, a, a certain actor trying to impersonate their own Santa. How? How? <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> my, li my little friend! <laughs> wow! And I hope you have a happy a new year. There you go. That, that's my Santa Claus. <laughs> All right. I'm getting closer. Getting closer. Do this. Do the Klaus Santa. Ooh. Yeah, he's Russian, right? 
No, that's uh, that's gu uh, Guardians. Oh, that's right. I wasn't. I was that's thinking Klaus. Guardians. I wasn't thinking Klaus. Although I do like, um, I I do like the Russian Santa from from Guardians. <laughs> Everybody loves this late. But Klaus. Like you, you think that he's so so easy, and yet it's that tone is the tricky part. I think. Yeah, I need to practice more, or not practice more. I haven't even started on that. You're right. Are you okay? I I I think I'm okay. I I need a minute. <laughs> no, my my impression of Santa would sound like Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you schmucks! <laughs> Let's get a little twist in his pose. And we just mentioned that the. Uh, Jay Shirota, have you guys ever seen Rise of the Guardian? It, Rise of the Guardians, that's it. There's a Russian Santa voiced by Alec Baldwin? Yeah. Wait, yeah. the Russian Santa was, was voiced by Alec Baldwin? Yeah. You didn't know that? I did not know that. Yeah. Come on. It's frozen up on me. There we go. Okay, so we're getting there on the move, so I'm getting something I like now. Yeah, my favorite character from that movie has to be um, uh, the Easter Bunny, Hugh Jackman. Oh, that's right. Yeah, why was he? In, why was he Australian? Why was the Easter Bunny Australian? I don't know. I think it just wanted the different, uh, the different myths, different characters from different nations. I guess makes sense. Get a little roundness on the face. Easter Bunny. <laughs> I'm going very loose right now to get right now to get the his antlers in and to get his <laughs> Oh we gotta get his top hat on, right? Oh yeah. You cannot forget the top hat. I've had a whole Aaron Blaze day today. Just been watching the Forest Creature stuff. Hope you guys had a great Christmas, especially Nick, because he was trying to fix my tech problems on Christmas Day, Boxing Day. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Thanks, Nick, for doing that. Bryson says, go. I finally got to watch Klaus, and I think it it's one of my favorite Christmas movies now. Totally agree. I think it's just a great movie in general. I, it's one of those movies you can definitely watch throughout the year. Which one? Klaus. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tim on YouTube says, Aaron, I want you to know I got the leopard pen and ink drawing I bought a few months ago on your live stream. The personal note was the best. Both are framed. Thanks. You are welcome. I'm glad you got it. Martin says, my favorite course by Aaron in 2019 is the watercolor course. Does this read as a noisemaker? It does, right? Yeah. I'm sure if you had like some like some decorations like uh, like little stars or something on the on the curl there. I'm trying to get a nice silhouette of him. Have you seen the new Star Wars yet? Yes. He said it was good, right? I liked it. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of people panning it, but uh, it's always going to be haters. Oh, yeah. And you've, you've seen The Mandalorian. I'm, I'm only on episode two of Mandalorian. But uh, how far into The Mandalorian are you? Uh, I guess it's, uh, episode eight just came out, and I haven't seen that, but I heard it was really good. Nice. Have you guys seen Togo yet? I started watching Togo. Here's my thing about with Togo. 
I didn't like Togo. Togo got really great reviews. One of my biggest pet peeves about movies that take place in Alaska is that they don't shoot them in Alaska. You know, I've been to Alaska many times, and so I've got a lot of experience up there, and I know what it looks like up around Nome, where the story is supposed to take place. And as soon as I saw the movie, I went, hmm, this looks like the Canadian Rockies. And sure enough, it was shot in Calgary. It has, it looks nothing like where it was shot. And then, on top of it, you have a guy that's supposed to be a dog musher. He's been a dog musher his whole life. And he's trying to take these dogs over these, like, incredibly treacherous, mountainous ridges that you, first of all, they'd never be able to do. And second of all, nobody would ever do, if, I don't know, I, it's just me getting caught up in being too much of a realist, I guess, but it really bugged me, so I, I stopped. Kirk Muggle says, Aaron, Santa got me an iPad. <laughs> what are your thoughts on uh, Procreate and Rough Animator? Well, we're going to be actually doing a a uh, a course on Procreate. And uh, so there you go. I like it. I love it. What was your favorite? Uh, this is my own personal question. What, what was your favorite uh, course that we worked on this year? Oh, this year? Yeah. Um, which courses did we work on this year? The only ones that are, that are uh, playing on my head is the watercolor, the oil painting. Oh, watercolor. And, oh, oh, and oh, the elves. Yeah, and no, the, the I know. Did the most recent one. I got to say, I really enjoyed um, both the uh, watercolor and the oil painting course. Nope. Oh, yeah. That looks terrible. I want to see this part of the neck right here. So we'll just keep that as a little dewlap or whatever you want to call it right down over here. Or maybe we leave it and we go like this. That's better. We'll do it that way. Look, it's flopped over. Jade, Jade says, hi, Aaron. Hi. Uh, I ordered a portfolio just like the one you put your ink drawings in. However, the gray paper didn't quite fit in the A4 size. Uh, what size do you have? Uh, I can't. I, it, I've got the size that fits. I've got 9 by 12, and then I've got a 14, 11 by 14. So a size that fits. Yeah, I got a 9 by 12 and 11 by 14. Nice. So here, what if I do this? Like he's blowing. There, does that feel like he's blowing? Has Aaron seen Has Been Hotel or Green Eggs and Ham? I've been trying to push him to see, to watch Has Been Hotel. No, yeah, I, I, I haven't seen it yet. Have you seen the Green Eggs and Ham? Uh, no, I haven't, seen, I haven't that. seen that yet either. Uh, I don't like the pose of that foot. Who do you think would win? Bigfoot or the moose? Moose. Moose. Moose, eh? There's a, there's a uh, big YouTube moose question. Dustin, thing. can you say keep the change, you filthy moose? You can keep the change, you filthy moose. <laughs> keep the change, you filthy animal. Hey, uh, you can keep the change there, bud. You're one filthy moose, you know that, right? Alright, let's see here. Keep the change, you filthy animal. What will your next course be in 2020? The next, the very next course we're doing is Procreate. So. All right, so there we go. There's our rough sketch. This hat. Oh. It's our New Year's moose. From your comment, uh, partying about, up 
about Togo earlier. Not that there's anything wrong with the Canadian Rockies, where I'm from, right? <laughs> no, there's not. I love the Canadian Rockies. It's just not Alaska. The story takes place in Alaska, in Nome, Alaska, not the Canadian Rockies. <laughs> it's very he, he easy. Was to, I was joking about it, but I know. <laughs> All right, so there you go. go yeah, a somebody, more uh, somebody, somebody uh, showed me a messenger uh, their interpretation of the moose, of the party moose. Oh, that's actually in uh, caribou. <coughs> so maybe I go. Let's try a couple different things here. There we go. I'm so glad that Procreate is getting some love. Just let them go right off the page. That feels pretty good. That feels better. Feeling good. Feeling good. All right, so let's knock that back. That took a little while to get that moose. It was kind of fun to draw, though. Nick says we should make a GIF of the noisemaker extending in and out. <laughs> I know you, I just wrote that, didn't I? Have you guys seen the Sky ET advertisement this year? I didn't see the... I, I heard a lot about it. Yes, I but, saw it. I loved it. Yeah, I, I still need to watch that. He really needs those 2020 glasses, maybe on his top hat. <laughs> like making it a party top hat with the 2020. Oh, yeah. The 2020 will be on the on the hat. Just came in. The waddly bit on the neck at at first glance looks like a second lower jaw. We'll fix that. Try a third glance. It'll be better. <laughs> maybe a fifth. Maybe maybe a sixth. You'll you'll start seeing the difference. Any plans to have uh, an artist community or a page group for folks taking your courses to share stuff and get feedback from each other? Say that one more time. Are there any plans uh, to have an artist community or a page slash group uh, for folks who are taking your courses uh, to, share, to share their stuff and get feedback from each other? Yes. We just don't know when yet. But it was definitely something we want to do. Oh, still in the works. What is that wildly bit called? Uh, that's making it look like a second job. Um, I always call it a do lap, but I'm not sure what that, if it's that, if that's right. It sounds like an Australian word. A do lap. Might be a waddle. I think the waddle is on a turkey. Hey, Aaron, Dustin, have you seen The Irishman? I thought it was class. I have not yet. I have not watched it. Oh, I thought you did. Nope. Huh. And uh, it is Gloria Purnell's, that's Vedanta's daughter, Gloria Purnell's birthday today, and Selena Birch, Nick's wife, it's her birthday today as well. We got birthday. birthdays, birthdays all over the place here.
a moose. And don't forget the moose. YouTube question, what cleanup brush do you use on TV paint? I don't use a cleanup brush on TV paint. And if I did, it would be a, just a number two pencil brush. Uh, Erica Bay says that the neck area is called a uh, bell or dewlap. I see. I said dewlap, didn't I? Yeah, you did say dewlap. Thank you, Erica, for proving me right. Huh. Uh, hmm. Aaron is drawing a celebrating moose today, and the title of the live stream is Nick Birch Live. That is very interesting. <laughs> well, you know how Nick is. It's all about Nick. Nick, 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 Nick Birch. Birch. Is that, is that Moose Canadian? I don't know, eh? That's a, a pretty good question there, bud. It might be Alaskan. This one is, uh... Or it could be from Montana. This one's from Wyoming. Montana. Either way, I think he's a righteous dude. <laughs> Wasn't that uh, Ferris Bueller's day off? Yeah, the the secretary. They think he's a righteous dude. In case you're interested, my sales extended on my website, and it's uh, all animation lessons, brushes, and art tutorials are twenty five percent off or more. That's all, at, that's all at CreatureArtTeacher.com. That's our, our Boxing Day sale is extended. How do they color the outlines in Disney movies so they look just darker than the main color instead of black? They don't use black? I don't, I'm not sure I understand the question. Uh, in Disney movies for our outlines, I think maybe like for within the body? Yeah, the, 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 line, the, the ink notes. lines aren't... They just make sure they're not black. They... We, we give them a color. That's all. Yeah. So is there like a certain way of like knowing how to make that kind of a choice or something? Or yeah, you could you assign a certain color to a certain area of the drawing. That's all. Okay. Simple. Simple dimple. Simple dimple. Do you consider yourself to be a tidy person? I'm messy and blame it on, on my love of art, proclaiming that artistic people are inherently un, untidy. No, Am that's I not true. Myself? Uh, are you what? Is, what's your name? What they <laughs> Am say? I deluding myself? Yes, you are. No, you're. it's not because you're an artist, it's because you're a slob. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you tend to be un, untidy at times. Exactly. I'm a slob. It's not because I'm an artist. I know lots of artists that are super neat. Something crawling out of his glass? What? No, those are olives. I haven't gotten to it yet. So it's really... He was asking me maybe something should crawl out of the glass, maybe? Uh, no. <laughs> I call this guy Mr. Miser Moose. Miser Moose? Mr. Miser Moose? Mr. Miser Moose? Mr. Miser Moose, dear bud. <laughs> How's it going, Heath? Let's be careful there, bud. 2020 there. Maybe he's got a necklace. Maybe it's flying around. Yeah. Here, got to get it right. There 
Dustin, he needs a drunk New Year's voice. <laughs> uh, happy New Year, dear bud. <laughs> A good Foster Brooks voice. Foster Brooks. He was the old the guy who went up oh. from my generation <laughs> that used to was drunk yeah. all the time. That's right. Who he did all the roasts. <laughs> 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 At least I'll have, I wish I'll have, <laughs> have, happy happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> that, that took a lot to get. To get out, get out of my system. <laughs> like that? Yeah. Foster Books was awesome. <laughs> it makes me laugh to the point of wheezing every time I watch those. Oh, when I was a kid, I laughed so hard with him. YouTube question, will the Aaron's Art Tip series continue? It, it does kind of, it, I do put out art tips and it's just kind of mixed with my live streams now. They're, they're rather than just doing little seven minute or five minute tips, I'm doing more elaborate type lessons now. So yeah, I mean, you're always gonna get art tips with me as I'm working. I want him a little bit off balance, a little hammered. <laughs> I'm hearing a Burgess Meredith a.k.a. Grumpy Old Men sort of voice in my head for this guy. Oh, that's a good idea. Detlef on YouTube says, Thanks again, you guys, uh, for reviewing my portfolio. I felt really privileged and encouraged by your words, Aaron. Best regards. You are welcome. Was Burgess the guy that played as... Um, um... Burgess Meredith? He was Rocky's trainer? Tried to get him to catch a chicken. Huh. He was in Grumpy Old Men. Where he was talking about eating bacon. He was Jack Lemon's dad and Grumpy Old Men. Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh. Now I was thinking... Um, he was talking about that. Come on, I want to lay you. <laughs> now, the, uh, the other guy... Um, who was in a... He was a neighbor in Dennis the Menace. And he was also a... Um, yeah. Um, was in Grumpy Old Men. Yeah. yeah what was his, is that his name? No, Walter Matthau. Walter Matthau, that's it. Yeah. He's got a three olive drink going right here. So there's our moose. Moose, of course. Okay, so let's get some color on him. I'm trying to remember his, the char the the character's name that he played in Hello Dolly. Like I think it was Mr. Vandergelder. I don't know. I just don't know, Dustin. Hello, Dolly. Well, hello, Dolly. I'm gonna keep this really loose and quick. We're on a time ahead. What? <laughs> We're on a time ahead. Cause like make keep it loose and fast. Like we're on a time ahead. Yeah. Keep it loose. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Sung by my good friend Amos Lee. Joe Montano says, uh, Montano says uh, you have been a fundamental part 
of my art education for the last three years, Aaron. Thank you so much for everything you and your team do. You are welcome. That makes us happy to hear. And my murder says, keep it loose like a moose. Keep it loose like a moose, baby. You gotta keep it loose like a moose there, bud. There, bud. Yeah, bud. There, bud. Mine. Right there, bud. It's right there, bud. Just getting this base color in. It's going to be a good new year. I can't wait to uh, get down to uh, Key West. We're going to have a ball as we watch the ball drop. Just remember their fruit gums ad advertisement. There's a moose loose about this hoose. Oh, I'm saying Scottish accent. Ah. There's a moose loose about this hoose. <laughs> Mooses, I believe, have white feet, white legs. I felt very, very limited with that, with that particular line. Yeah, you got, well, kind of not white, but. Oh, yes. Uh, Burgess Meredith was also the penguin in the old Batman series. <laughs> Forgot about that. Sean on YouTube asks, Scenario, you run an, in an inconvenience store. What do you sell? I run an inconvenience store? <laughs> what do I sell? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I sell uh, lighters that don't light. <laughs> I sell a stick part of a shovel. Yeah, the shovel piece is sold separately. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> I sell bird feed that has birds in them but no feed. <laughs> I sell a tractor with no engine. All right. YouTube, uh, YouTube question. I want to buy this color brush. Can I? Yes. Go to creatureartteacher.com and we've got a whole set of brushes that have this brush included. <laughs> moose can be dangerous already in public. Now imagine a drunk moose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, moose, you're a little drunk there. You might want to go home there, bud. Go home, moose. You're drunk. So I'm just laying in this color really fast. Ah, I got an itch on my face all of a sudden. <laughs> if, if a ball drops in New York, what drops in the Alaskan forest? A tree? And is anybody there to hear it? <laughs> Chuck Norris is there to hear it. Can you reach that antler up there? That oh, antler? Are you able to reach that? Well, one way to find out there, bud. I want to show it off. I'm going to uh, show off my antler. I need to find my bigger boots. Uh, don't you have a step ladder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get it? <laughs> nope. What if you had something to knock it over? Like grab a pole or something. Or a spear. Yeah, the spear. But, um, Use the spear. Where did that might? No, no, it'll fall over. Head. It won't fall on your head. And if it does, it's it only weighs like 20 pounds. <laughs> only. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Come on, man. You can do it. Oh, dude, God. Oh. <laughs> that was such a good catch. Well, I got it. <laughs> This is what he was getting right here. Oh, so this <laughs> please don't make me put it back up there. 
<laughs> that freaked me out so much I got a headache now. <laughs> Thanks. Switch to switch to the uh, oh. to the webcam, or actually switch to the set cam. Yes, uh, set cam. The set cam is that better? Which one's better? The webcam. I'll do webcam. So this is just one half of an Alaskan moose shed. So this is one antler, and they are so heavy. And uh, uh, an Alaskan moose, their antler spreads tend to be more horizontal. The ones further east and down in Canada and Vermont and all that, they tend to be up. Uh, the spread tends to come up a little bit because there's denser trees. But these, uh, because there's less trees up in Alaska where the moose are, uh, especially up in the tundra areas, they tend to have a wider spread. And, um, and it's really cool. You can see where after the moose, shed, and you got to remember, you know, the difference between an antler and a horn, antlers are shed every year and then they grow them back every year. So you got to remember, these are shed. They come off every winter and they grow a new set every spring through the summer and into fall. So it's amazing that this is shed and then regrown every year. You can see all the vast, you know, where the veins are, you know, as it's as it's growing, um, it's really neat. And then when it comes off every year, um, the rodents you can see here where it's been chewed. Rodents chew that for minerals and whatnot. And this is one that when I was up in Alaska, I found it under a tree, and uh, so I wrapped it up and took it home. But this is this is a moose shed, and uh, they're very big. It's kind of cool. It's a moose, eh? It's a moose. I've had that one uh, for 25 years. That's a lot of years. I know. Yeah, that got open four or five. Okay, so would it be unreasonable to suggest the face cam get moved to the bottom left so that we can see the layers you're using? Yes. Can we do that, Dustin? Yes. Uh, let me use a mouse and don't stop using your stylus, please. Uh, why is it going that way? We're on it. There you go. All right. No, no, all the way over. All the way over to the left, to the left corner. Yep. Good enough. Dunk is All right, here we go. Is that better? Much. Much better. better. That'll work. Have you ever been tempted to gnaw that antler? <laughs> uh, no. I'm sure the dog has, though. Sure, a dog and sees it goes. Oh, Nick, Nick! Nick says he would sell at the inconvenience store. He would sell shoes that start to peel. The soles start to peel off after one use. <laughs> Nick and I were both having that issue in, in uh, Africa with our shoes. Our soles oh, were just, peeling off. Oh, because of just how rugged the terrain is. No, I just had crappy shoes that I brought with me. Oh. Well, they're not yeah, crappy. That, I just I, I've had them for like ten years and. I love those shoes, and then they, they, of all the times they started to fall apart, was in Africa. Oh, chat. Chocolate. Chocolate! <laughs> all right. Years? That means you found it in 1994? Yep, that's exactly right. Whoa, too dark. It's too dark over there. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just laying in. Uh, if you guys follow me all the time, then you know I lay in my my uh, local color first, and then we're going to start adding light and shadow. So that's what I'm doing right now. When is the next episode of Aaron Blaze Survivalist? Well, when would that be? Oh, 
hopefully sometime soon. Just adding, so what I'm doing now is just adding some variations in color on his on his face here. It's funny seeing that that question on everybody's survivalist made me start thinking of Steve Irwin because I've been watching some some uh, episodes recently, and that led me to check this out. Check this out. <laughs> it's a giant tree with ferns all over it. Check this out. Hey, Eric, do you speak any other languages? No, I wish I did, but I'm a very typical... Typical American. Typical American. I don't speak another language. I know a lot of but Americans you, do. But you so did catch a lot of phrases, though. Oh, I do. Of like, very, very, very basic Yeah, stuff. after I'm in another country long enough, I, you know, as, as, like anybody else, I get, I get to where I can communicate pretty well. Hey, Gabby. Gabby. Good morning, guys. What's, Gabby. What's the inspiration for today? I'm always late. It's the new year. It's the new so year. So someone asked for a New Year's moose. And we haven't done a moose. In a uh, while. Either in a while or... I don't... Have, I, I still don't think we've done a moose yet. No, we've done a moose. We did a Did moose, we? yeah, a couple of years. Well, it may, may have even been like two years ago. Oh. No wonder why. That's a big of a time for to do another moose, see? Eh? Yeah, Nick said we both brought our oldest shoes to Africa. That's exactly what we did. <laughs> All right, let's go white. Yeah, that's um, that's a one-way ticket for your old shoes to... Uh, YouTube comment. Oh, yeah. Uh, YouTube, uh, coyotes will chew on the antlers, too. We enjoy looking for sheds each year. If you don't find them soon, they get chewed up. That's exactly right, yeah. Should have worn shorts. Yeah. You get all sweaty down there. Ordering a drink in a lot of languages. What? Do you know how to order drinks in a lot of languages? Well, I just, I know dos dos cerveza por favor. And uh. Don't you know a Japanese one too? Yeah. Uh, what was it? Biru, biru, biru. Uh. Ni biru. Ni biru? Yeah. And then when you get arigato gozaimasu. Marburger says, I think it's a running gag on live stream. Dustin and Aaron greeting Gabby. <laughs> How about a pink noisemaker? Kirk asks, uh, Aaron, is Key West Elvis still doing his thing at Sloppy Joe's? I have no idea. I haven't been down there in about eight or nine years, so I'll find out for sure. Yeah, I haven't been there since I was little. <laughs> All right, we're Sorry. slowly getting there. So he wrote out like a, a drunk script, like <laughs> everybody. Uh, uh, Aaron Blaze here, and it's my first, my first, first drunk live stream. <laughs> yeah. And this this whole thing is making me remember um, when the one person told us to look back at our YouTube. Live stream and slow it down by like twenty five or fifty percent. Oh yeah, it's really funny. And it made it sound, made it sound drunk. <laughs> it's perfect when you uh, do it with Donald Trump. 
It is perfect when you do it with Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how slow it is. <laughs> I'm going to build a wall. It's going to be fantastic. The Mexicans <laughs> are going to buy it. They're going to pay for the whole thing. Oh, we're so close to having all of his local color in. Have you ever tried drawing while drunk? Yes, I don't. <laughs> I don't drink and draw. But I'm sure you have before. I learned my lesson. I don't drink and draw. <laughs> <laughs> so you have done it before. I did, yes. yes. So I just said, did you hear me? <laughs> I believe I did. Did Nick bless the rains down in Africa? Nick bless the rains in Africa like every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him a. Want to give him a? Uh, what kind of tie do we want to give him? Blue tie. What would you say is the best way to find a assistant writer to help compose a story? I have ideas, but don't know a writer or how to write my vision correctly. Well, you got to get somebody you trust. You got to get somebody that's collaborative, and you have to be collaborative as well. You can't just dictate to a writer what you want. Um, it just takes it's it's a tough one. That's a that is tough. Um, you know, we always had writers submitting to Disney all the time, so for us it was a little different. Don't drink and draw. Yep. Exactly what she said. Uh, he said. Why well, is she? You all right? Yeah. You okay, Dustin? I'm tired. There's our 2020 moose. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> well, hang out with Tunnel Tr Trump. He's f he's fantastic. <laughs> Okay, slowly getting there. I imagine Trump being like, I'm here having an interview <laughs> with the guy, with this guy. He's a great guy. He directed this movie called Bear of Brothers. I wouldn't be there for the interview to begin with. You'd <laughs> be like, I'm out. <laughs> it would never, it never would have happened. All right, so we got to put a background in here too. You're like, would you like to meet the president? Nope. Click. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go blue, green. Let's go green. Balance it out. Ooh, oh, red. Gabby just made an interesting, good question. Uh, what's your what's our favorite non animated film of this year? Of this year? Yeah, favorite non. I haven't seen that many. Non animated. I mean, when you're when you're asking like non animated, is that talking like what no actually? animation whatsoever? Well, I like, mean, it's not considered an animated film. I mean, you can have films that have special effects in them. Yeah. Because I mean, I really liked. Um, Movies like uh, the Detective Pikachu and oh come on, you can, better, you can do better than that. What? I haven't really watched that many that many new movies this year. I'm trying. To... Uh. 
to see <laughs> Honey Boy. I want to see Honey Boy, and I want to see uh, oh, that'd be the peanut good. butter. What was it? Peanut butter. I don't know that one. They're both Shia LaBeouf. And uh, Adam Sandler's new movie that just oh. came out. I want to see that. John Wick 3, that's it. Uh, I'm trying to think of the movies that really moved me. I'm trying to... I can't remember. Well, actually... Uh, there's so many... Yeah, Endgame was this year. I forgot about that. Yeah, I would, I would have to say for me personally, I have to say Endgame because that was the that was the movie this year that really made me like sob at the end. You wuss. Hey, screw you. All right, let's uh, go blue. What what app do you use to animate on your iPad? To animate on my iPad? Yeah. Uh, I don't usually animate on my iPad, but if I did, which I do, which I have, I use Procreate. Procreate animates? Uh, the new version does. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we bought. the Joker and wasn't there a Star Wars movie? I personally haven't seen Joker and I haven't seen Star Wars yet. I like I saw Joker, I liked it, but man, was it disturbing and it just left me feeling yucky. <laughs> Space Jam wasn't this year. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if it was. <laughs> Honey Boy, yep. Honey Boy, I want to see Honey Boy. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen that either. My good friend uh, Tim Mertens is all over that movie. He keeps telling me, man, I got to see it. Shia LaBeouf is going to get a an Oscar for it. Yeah, I didn't really see that many new movies this year, especially in the theaters. Like the top like five I watched. Of what's our brand new this year? Where uh, John Wick three, Godzilla King of Monsters, Detective Pikachu, uh, Avengers Endgame, and actually top four. <laughs> I don't remember if I've seen anything else that that came out this year. Did Christopher yeah. Robin come out this year? Uh, I don't know. You know, we watched we watched the on uh, Amazon. We watched the Aeronauts. Man, that whole movie, the whole time, I just had a tight, for lack of a better term, I had a tight pucker. That whole movie. There's so many shots where the camera's just looking down out of the balloon. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Have you seen Aladdin or Lion King? Yeah, I um, wasn't. I wasn't a big fan of either one. Yeah, I I never even bothered to see him because I I'm, I'm not really interested in the live action changes. I think I think uh Lion King was beautiful. I mean, it looked good, but it just I missed them trying to make it so hyper real. It lost the character. Yeah. But as far as the the specific question goes of non-animated like the Lion King would not count them because it it is an animated feature. And people oh. say, no, it's live action, but no, it's all CG. <laughs> yeah. Nick and I saw Endgame, and Steve, we saw Endgame in Ireland. Oh, that was nice. kind of cool. Uh, I got to save. I haven't saved Yeah, yet. the ending made me sob. Like, spoiler alert. Well, actually, yeah, spoiler alert. But when the thing happened with Iron Man, with Tony Stark... Yes, I started tearing up, but the part that made me sob the most 
was the very end with Steve Rogers finally dancing with his girl. Because I was like, he finally got his dance! Yeah. Because <laughs> I always rooted for the guy through through the um, throughout the universe. He was always my favorite character. Oh, yeah. All right, Justin, I thought you had had seen those. Aladdin could have would have counted as number five. No, nope, I haven't seen Aladdin. I haven't really seen any. I haven't really seen a whole lot of new stuff this year. Yeah, Nick says he just saw the Joker, and thought it was good, but that whole controversy was blown so far out of proportion. I completely agree. It was just people wanting wanting there to be controversy. Where there wasn't any. Gabby says, oh, blank. Uh, Knives, Knives Out, the movie, uh, Knives Out. Oh, see, I, I keep hearing Knives Out is fantastic, but we haven't, I haven't had a chance to see it. Yeah, Gabby says that Knives Out actually pleasantly surprised me. Watch it uh, if you can, guys. Well, it's universally it's universally uh, praised. I mean, it's really? Been, oh, it's been getting great reviews. Oh, wow. I didn't see that then. What animated holiday specials did you look forward to the most as a kid? When I was a kid, it was uh, Rudolph. Um, you know, this is back in 1970 and 71, 72. Rudolph, uh, 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 Frosty. Rudolph and Frosty were my favorites. <laughs> no, that part got you, but not the cheeseburger part? Okay. The, the areas that I that I sobbed, well not sob, but I teared, was the official death of Stark when the light went out, the funeral scene. Well, okay, you're, you're doing spoilers, by the way. Yeah, spoiler alert. Um, the cheeseburger, I was like, oh, man. And, but the hardest uh, crying was at the very, very end with, with uh, Rogers. What's the cheeseburger? What are you talking about with the cheeseburger? Oh, uh, when the, um, when his old, uh, his old security guy, buddy, um, Favreau, was like, uh, is there anything you want? Asking the little, the little girl. She was like, I want a cheeseburger. And he was like, your, your dad really liked cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm adding shadows. Oh, wait, Zombieland 2 came out this year? Yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know it came out already. I need to see that. I, and it's just me. I hate zombie movies, even Zombieland. I'm just not into it. Can't stand them. Well, that's your thing. I know. <laughs> Absolutely, I get it. I'm in the minority. And I'm and I'm waiting for the next uh, season of Walking Dead to come onto Netflix. Like I don't really follow the shows at like when they when they come out. I wait till they make it to Netflix or Hulu. So I always end up being like a, a season behind everyone else. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just quickly throwing shadows in. How did you make your fur brushes? Um, very carefully. Uh, it has to do with all the, the presets over here on the right side, all this stuff up here. Um, you got to know what to use up there. I mean, that it's it's a whole other that's a whole other live stream to teach you. But if you if you get my if you get my digital painting course, I teach you how to do it. Not to push my website, but hey, I'm going to push my website. If you get my digital painting course. <laughs> I teach you how to do it. Uh, Dustin, are you catching up with My Hero Academia new season? If it's on Hulu, I I will. <laughs> I just don't think uh, the new seasons of My Hero Academia are on Hulu yet. What is My Hero Academia? It's a uh, anime. Oh, you got right to that answer. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Oops. Wrong. 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 It's a. It's an anime about 
a world of superheroes where uh, certain people end up getting powers that are called quirks and and some of them become superheroes through this uh, particular training school to become one and uh-huh. this one kid doesn't have a quirk and he's quirkless and he always wanted to be a, a superhero and he ends up gaining powers from his uh, idol who trains him to uh, to be his replacement gotcha you got a quirk You're quirky my quirk is photography and editing skills. YouTube question do you have any big plans or projects for 2020 we do we want to we want to obviously continue with our um, training videos and courses and we got a lot coming out um, we got some really good artists um, that we're going to be uh, filming and bringing on to the site which we're very excited about we'll be able to announce soon uh, and then snow bear we got some big plans to get snow bear off the ground finally get it really rolling and uh, I'm ex- super excited about that and uh, and Gabby uh, says dude Aaron watch a gameplay of the last of us and it'll change your whole perspective of zombies oh yeah I know of uh, The Last of Us? That's yeah. the game, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm just over the zombies. Yeah, but The Last of Us is definitely a real interesting take on on zombies. It's more grounded on how the, the infection works. Yeah. I think I explained it to you. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. We're not here to talk about zombies. We're here to see my drawing. (laughs) (laughs) Can we add some silver and gold confetti? Oh, there you go. Silver and gold. Silver and And gold. gold. Yes, we will. I will do that. Oh, you know what I didn't do? What What did you not do? I didn't put any shadows inside the noisemaker. No. This New Year's Eve party should be renamed The Walking Dads. <laughs> <laughs> How do you go. feel about vampire films? Eh, I believe you can argue that. I'm what just vampires over are. the old classic stuff. I like. I want to see. Oh my gosh. Keep hitting the wrong thing. What to do? I want to see more Guillermo del Toro films. He's my favorite kind of scary movie type guy now. Mm-hmm. All right, let's uh, let's throw a layer on here. We're gonna get through this pretty quick now. And Vanessa just said, "Don't forget to save." Oh yeah, it's been saving. Nick says, I'll take the things that will never happen for a thousand dollars, Alex. <laughs> Regarding Aaron watching a gameplay video. <laughs> Nick knows me too well. fire behind the moose. He's so wasted he doesn't realize he started a fire. Well, that, uh, that's unexpected. Drink up to that. <laughs> yeah, I should just make it a burning wall in the background. So here I'm doing a cooler reflected light. Underneath, I'm drawing right over the drawing layer now. For those of you that are interested, maybe in 2020, Aaron will save that texture. <gasps> <laughs> the what? The texture. What texture? 
What, what, are, you, what are you talking about? Whatever texture you're using, I don't know. I'm focused on the comments here. Maybe some streamers caught dangling in his antlers. <laughs> Great idea. This is definitely, it needs more. I need the more. Am I, am I boring you, Dustin? I've just been up since three. I'm good. <laughs> more cowbell. That sound more like Arnold. <laughs> I need more cowbell. Come on. <laughs> What is Mr. Moose drinking there? Drinking a martini, eh? A martini. There, see how you can... Um, I'm going very graphic, very quick. Just hitting little reflected areas and, and warm areas. You can get some really effective things going on. Arturo Garcia says, all joking aside, the portfolio review review session was so helpful. I'm honored that you liked the concepts of my dinosaur show. It made me all all the more motivated to go forward with with it and make it the best I can. Thank you so much and you are the best. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was it was very cool. And I gotta say, everyone took their took their uh their critiques really well, which is a nice breath of fresh air for me. If there was a Space Jam 2, who would be in it? LeBron James? Oh, yeah. And maybe a, a cameo by Michael Jordan and maybe Shaquille O'Neal. Yep. Faux show. Faux show. Like Shaq comes in. Hey there, Bug Bunny. Hey. How you doing? Hey, Bug Bunny. Hey there, Bug Bunny. That would be even deeper than that. Hey there, Bug Bunny. <laughs> hey, Bug. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. <clears throat> And Gabby's asking, so how's Grandpa Marshall? Marshall is great. He's up in Vermont right now. He's going to be coming back around the 17th of January. We always tell him you say hi. We were up there uh, not too long ago. A few weeks ago. Went to Montreal. Your brother just said you're a nice breath of fresh air. My brother? Your brother. My brother can suck it. <laughs> hey, Trav. Uh, do any of us have any uh, New Year's resolutions? Um, no, I'm just going to be the same grouchy, fat, annoying guy I've been all year. Well, my resolution is to lose weight. Or at least 
try that's harder. A, that's to. a strange resolution. Not many people do that. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to try. I mean, there's no guarantees, though. For me, it's usually I, I try a week, and then I give up instantly. <laughs> no, that's not instantly. That's a week. It's like, I'm on this diet a week later. I'm starving. I need Wendy's. <laughs> oh, you know what I didn't do? You know what I didn't do? You know what I didn't do? What, what, what you know didn't you I didn't do? Save? I didn't put a shadow on the top hat. <gasps> Shame. 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 Trevor said, suck this breath of fresh air. <laughs> this is Travis's big year. Travis is turning 50 this year. We're going to be going out to Seattle and partying like it's his 49th. Party like it's hot. And for the... For the and Coy Lou says, is that a moose? Nope. No, that's not a moose. <laughs> it's a deer. It's a deer with a fat nose. <laughs> also known as a moose, yes. Boy, he's just all over the place. Like Gabby said, last year's resolu resolution was... Uh, to stop eating all candy bars. I had several a day just because they were there. And uh, this year, I'm I'm going to dirt. I'm going to uh, be yeah. healthier. I was just trying to... In you going to dirk a dirka? Dirk a... Dirk a dirk a dirk a Jihad. <laughs> yeah, I think she was saying that she was just going to be healthier this year. Good for you. Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter, I just want to say Happy New Year. Very quick. See, he's a very quick one today. Let's put a little, let's put some blue reflected light on him. Of course, I'm going to be 22 next year. Oh, that's great. I'm going to be 30. Who said they're going to be 22? Uh, Koi Lu. Koi Lu. Wow. You're getting old. Watch out. You blink and you're going to be my age. <laughs> no one says 50? He looks like he's 12. I know. A gray-haired 12-year-old. Yeah, I know. It's weird, isn't it? Travis just said, it's a raccoon with antlers. <laughs> Saying that's not a moose. That ain't no moose. That's a raccoon with antlers. <laughs> Travis said to Nola, I'm part hobbit. Yeah, every time, uh, any time Travis and I get together, I just lean on his head when we're standing next to each other. Yeah. And just go, hey, what's up, Dak? Have you seen the new Star Wars yet? I, I have not yet. I've seen it. I liked it. What will you guys do in 2020? Well, I'm going to do more photography and hope to pursue even further into that. 
But uh, what about you? Uh, I'm going to try to live. <laughs> live and let die. No, just the live part. And live and live, live. What? What, is, what are your plans for for next year? Less travel. That's a start. Okay. Okay. What's next? I figure I'll do a piece of art or two. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> That's nice. 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 And uh, we're, we're doing some more courses, right? Yeah, we're doing, we're doing more, more courses. courses. I'm trying to finish this up. <laughs> because we're hitting our... This one, I just want to be lo real loose anyway. You can be really loose. And let's get some... Uh, let's get some... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, uh, some sparkles in there. Wait, oh, didn't someone say they wanted streamers? Yeah, streamers off the antlers. Off the antlers. Are you trying to get out of here quick so you can uh, start packing? Yeah. You need to prepare for your trip down to the Keys. Key West. Are you guys heading down tomorrow? To the Keys? Uh, actually, we're heading down to see um, Jackie and Lyndon tomorrow. Ah, but then after that, you're continuing down to Key West after that. Yep. Gotcha. So the official trip starts tomorrow. Yes. Gotcha. Well, hope you have a fun one. Uh, have you seen Frozen 2 yet? I have not. Though I would very much would like to see that. Nope, I haven't seen it. <laughs> Ken's like, Aaron, why are you rushing? He's got to go somewhere tomorrow. He needs to get ready. There we go. What are my chances of becoming a great artist like yourself next year? 20 out of 20? 20 out of 20. I'll give it to you. Just gotta work hard. Work hard. Work hard every day. Koi Luz says, I have an English name is Kevin O'Bill. <laughs> awesome. It sounds like a uh, country name. Name is Kevin O'Bill. Kevin O'Bill. And I live in Bozeman, Montana. <laughs> no, Nolan, stop. <laughs> Nolan went, Dustin, do you want to build a snowman? Uh, How about a big fat no? I start, I'm using my Dustin debris brushes for confetti. I don't like that one. You know the what brush? A dust and debris. How about this one? Oh, dust and debris. I no. thought you said dust and Dustin's debris. I'm like dust and debris. Did I make debris? <laughs> when did yeah. I make debris? Let's do a layer behind him. Hey Dustin, I watched Godzilla: King of Monsters. I teared up when Mothra saved Godzilla. I didn't tear up. I choked up when Mothra when he first hatched from the egg. With the with Mothra's uh, theme song coming on and, and the wings coming out from the waterfall, oh, that that hit the feels. <laughs> the nostalgic feels were real. There we go. There's his all his confetti. Twenty twenty definitely the year of making more art. Shout out to your fans. Amy and Alma from Utah. <laughs> Nick says this looks like Tom Hanks from Bachelor Party. You're right, it does. <laughs> what do you have a moose mask or something? A moose mask. Moose mask. Did you see a moose mask? Moose, moose mask. A, ma a mask that that's in the shape of a moose. 
I like having my brushes all nice and organized. Hey, stop that here. What, this? Yeah. You're driving me nuts, eh? <laughs> I want to get this oil. Have you watched The Witcher? And what's your go-to drawing snack? Uh, I usually make a sandwich. Like a cold cut sandwich. And I have watched The Witcher. I actually, actually binged all of The Witcher yesterday. Oh, you did? Yeah. What did you think? I, I got tired of him talking like this all the time. He no, just, just talks tired. like this. I'm tired of looking at his big, fat muscles. <laughs> <laughs> he just no, but like I, I really like... I really liked it. The sword play was awesome. Uh, and also, the way they did the story was really interesting of like, the way the time, the time flow was, was very different. Yeah, it was. Just because he talks like that doesn't mean you have to, too. I'm just gonna talk like this all the time. And I'm just gonna give myself a slight British accent. Dear God, please, no. Hey Dustin, if you weren't helping out your dad, who could he have replace you with? Pretty much anybody can you do your job. <laughs> a monkey <laughs> could do my job. <laughs> the dumbest monkey in the world could do my job. <laughs> Except for the photography part. That that uh, requires a gorilla. <laughs> no, but honestly, probably... Oh, I think Austin would probably have the uh, would be able to learn pretty quickly. Oh yeah. But, I mean, anytime I'm not doing th this stuff, uh, if I'm not here for a live stream, then but after it takes over that, and then uh, half the time Nick does uh, editing for all the other uh, courses that the other artists have worked on. So, I don't know. I think if I wasn't here, then they would probably have more more work to do. <laughs> yeah, we're getting colored confetti in there. Oops. Not over the face. In the face! Yeah, what... And uh, this is my own question, but what are you, what movie are you looking forward to next year? Because I'm who me? Yeah, because I'm lo mostly looking forward to uh, Top Gun sequel next year. Yeah, that's cool. Right up there with Ghostbusters. That's cool. What about you? Um. Uh, I don't know what's coming up. Uh, well, it was those two. And Black Widow. Yeah. And my mind is a blank right now. Yeah, I can't say that there's much out there that I'm. I'm, I'm over the superhero movies. I'm tired of them. Oh yeah, uh, Wonder Woman, nineteen eighty four. Yeah. That's gonna be another one. Uh, Bill and Ted, their sequel. Yeah. Uh, I John like them. John Wick and The Matrix uh, 4s, but I think those are in 2021, though. Those would be, those would be nice to see. You uh, question, how do you deal with parallax on the tablet, like when you put the pen down and it draws somewhere else? Does that make line art hard? I don't even notice it. It's not something I even notice. No, not at all. Not at all. Blue asks, which animals do you enjoy draw, enjoy drawing the most? Enjoy, 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 enjoy. Are you okay? The most. <laughs> um, I would say any of the big cats. I enjoy. Bears, I enjoy. I should be asking you the question that you've been asking me all stream. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> 
Um, Aaron, when will the Procreate course be available? I'm going to try to have it done by the end of January. You heard it here, folks. Or the end of January. <laughs> I'm getting too tired for this. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much there. This one's a quick one. Just a sketch. But it was fun. I'm sure I'm sure your fans are watching it now going, this is a sketch? <laughs> <laughs> you call this loose? Yeah, it is loose. loose. It's a loose boose. Loose as a goose. <laughs> Aaron's just getting in moose character. That's right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Check this out. <laughs> You're never going to let me go. Nope. Let's live that down. Nope. Check this out. Timmy says, looks like you have your New Year's discount image for Instagram. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. There's our little moosey boose. All right. Well, as they say, there should be a mo there should be a meme with Aaron saying, "I see this more as a sketch." Is it trying like this? <laughs> or no, Oops. make it like a full on oil painting. Like the the lion oil painting. And uh -huh. just tile it. Um, I see this more as a sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little darker behind him just to pop him out a little bit. And Gabby said, Aaron, thanks again so much for these vids. They are fun. They're fun to have and do. What do we want? Do we like that better or that better? That better? I think it looks better without. Yep. Uh, wait, what was it again? I got rid of it. Oh, I'll show you. Dang it. This one or that one? This one or that one? I think he stands out better in this one. It does stand out better, but it kind of stands out better in the dark one, too. It's kind uh, of his silhouette gets lost a little bit. I, yeah, I'll go with the lighter one just mainly because it makes more sense with the, with the actual lighting that he has. Uh, what questions do you have for your viewers and supporters? <laughs> it's a YouTube question. What questions do I have? Uh, my biggest question for you guys is if you're getting everything you want from me. Everything you need. The question you should be asking is, have you been able to put up with me? <laughs> <laughs> The question you should be asking yourself is, do you feel lucky? <laughs> well, do you? Do you? Punk. Punk. You gotta be asking yourself, my friend, do I feel lucky? Well, do ya? My little cowbell? <laughs> Alright, well there it is. There's our New Year's moose. <laughs> what a ridiculous image. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but it was fun. So I hope you guys have a great, great, great New Year's. And uh, be careful. Do not drink and drive. Put some beauty back in the world. Remember, our website has a Boxing Day sale go still going on. There's 25% off of everything. So go on over to Creature Art Teacher. Dot com. Yes, Nick, it is being saved in the live stream folder. It is in there. Um, Are you sure about that? I am positive. And, um, uh, and check out our sale. The sale is going great. 
and we would love for you to get some good deals before the end of the year. Uh, things are going to be going up this coming year. The cost of a membership is going to be going up. Uh, lots of things. And so um, if you want to get a membership, get in there now before the cost goes up because once you're locked in, you're locked in for life at that, at that price. So, uh, so there's that. And remember, when you get a membership, you get everything on the site. You don't have to buy a la carte. You get everything that's there. And so I hope you guys had a great time. I had a great time. And um, like I said, be careful. I hope you have a great holiday. Uh, go over and check out our Patreon page. We always could use the support. That's at uh, patreon.com slash Aaron Blaze Art. And, um, and you'll get some extra, uh, if you go to the third tier, you'll get some extra um, uh, live streams out of it where we'll do some more, more specific uh, lesson type live streams. So I hope you guys had a great time. I had a wonderful time. I had a wonderful, wonderful year with all of you. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, from Nick and Steve and Dustin, from all of us. We just want to thank you so much for supporting us for this last year, for the last several years. And, uh, and we can't wait to do it again this coming year. So have a great one, and I will see you in 2020. I'll talk to you later. Bye.